Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse 29. Happy are thou, O Israel. So Z, what you got to understand is your name is Israel. Your spiritual name, the God, or the, your God-given name, what, what's your forefather? What would you say your dad is? What, what's his nationality? Would he be like African-American or something? I mean, yeah. Okay, Okay. Love. well, yeah, yeah. something love. like that, yeah. right? But this is what God called you. Yeah. God called you Judah, yeah. all right? That means God's praise. That's why he said, happy art thou, O Israel, because we got to be happy that God named us. God took the time and said, no, nah, them, them people right there, no, nah, bring, them, bring them here with me, and I'm going to name them individually because they're my chosen. They're my special people. Those are the ones that I care about. I don't care about no other race on this earth. Those are my people. Give them my laws so that they live their lives in a way that pleases me and they continue to rule society. You said the, the Bible is the white man's religion. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And, uh, Come on, what else? I'm polytheistic, I, they, my people are polytheistic. Okay, all right, all right, and I understand that. So let me show you some things that you may not be aware of. So, Adam, you seen pictures of Adam? What did it describe Adam as? A white man. Yeah, say so he's white, right? Okay, all right, let's go through the Bible. This is what we want to do, is show our people what it is that they in, uh, intentionally hide from us. Genesis 2 and 7. Yes. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So now, what's your name, my brother? I'm sorry. I'm Z. Z? All right, Z. Z. So now, read that again. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So uh, Adam, God formed Adam from dirt of the ground. So now, in the pictures, in the movies, on the art, in the church, on the, uh, what do they call them things? Uh, the stained wall, I mean the stained glass images, they show them as something like this. They show them like this. But when you go into the Bible, you see that our people actually were the first being created. And all life stemmed from us. So wait a minute. Why is this something that, that they ain't teaching? It's because they like to see us in a low down estate. But let me show you something about Adam. Because Adam is your father, or your forefather, who you descend from. Go to 2nd Ezra 6. Second Ezra 6, because Adam was created, right? God had a special favor toward Adam, did he not? He put him in the Garden of Eden. He said, hey, hey, till this land right here. I want you to work this area. And then what did he do after that? He put him to sleep, and he took a rib out and gave him a woman, Eve. That's why woman means from man. You see what I'm saying? So now, what you're learning is Adam was a black man, and that woman came from a black man first. So the black man was the one that gave her life. You see what I'm saying? But let me show you something else about Adam. Come on. The book of Second Ezra, chapter... 6 and verse 54 and after these Adam also whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures so now see it said Adam was made a lord over all the creatures of the earth what does that mean you ever seen you ever seen like uh superman remember when superman you ever seen that movie the newest one when he came on earth and they was like this dude's a god this dude he ain't like everybody else this dude he got power he ain't built like everybody. He can fly. He can do all these amazing things. What did it say Adam was? He said, made him what? Made him Lord of all thy creatures. We descend from lords. We descend from gods. That's who we descend from. The God that the Most High created to rule this earth, that's who our forefather is. Why don't they teach us that, see? Like I said, that's why I said it's a white man's, it's a white man's book. This, this is? You still think it is? After I mean, we but, but, but we know that he made... He made these people, and they're all black. You yeah, yeah. already know this. Okay. So but where every, is the confusion but coming in? Everywhere we go is somebody white playing these people that we know he made was black. Exactly. Now go to Deuteronomy thirty-three twenty-nine, because now we about to put the pieces together. So now we know that the blacks, the Hispanics, and Native Americans, those are the Israelites, God's chosen people. You see what I'm saying? These people right here descend directly from Adam, the Adam that was a god on this earth, the Adam that ruled this planet, that named all the creatures. The one that walked in the Garden of Eden, that was our forefather. You see what I'm saying? But they don't want us to attach ourselves to that. Why? Because they want us to believe lies. They want you to be on the bottom of society, and they want you to be in a state of stupor as a nigga. That's what they want you as. That's why everything they put on TV, what do they, put you, what do they portray us as? Drug dealers, Drug dealers. thugs, yep. killers. We in, the, uh, we, uh, we in the prison system, yep. homeless. Yep. It's always that sort of thing, right? right? But let's see what the Bible said. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse 29. Happy are thou, O Israel. So Z, what you got to understand is your name is Israel. 
-hmm. Your spiritual name, the God or the your God given name. What, what's your forefather? What would you say your dad is? What, what's his nationality? Would he be like African American or something? I mean, yeah. Okay. Like okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Something like that, right? Yeah. But this is what God yeah. calls you. Yeah. God calls you Judah. Yeah. All right. That means God's praise. That's why He said, "Happy art thou, O Israel," because we got to be happy that God named us. God took the time and said, "No, nah, them, them people right there. No, nah, bring them, bring them here with me, and I'm gonna name them individually because they're my chosen. They're my special people. Those are the ones that I care about. I don't care about no other race on this earth. Those are my people. Give them my laws." So that they live their lives in a way that pleases me and they continue to rule society. But we left that. But now we got to be what? Read it again from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is right unto thee, O people saved by the Lord. So Z, Z, who is like us? When you, when you try to look on this earth and you try to look at it and say, who can run better than us? I mean, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'm including uh, okay. everybody on this sign right here. That's color and hue, so people with color. Yeah, yeah. us, yeah. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Who's the smartest people? When they apply themselves, who's the smartest people? It it's unmatched. You know what I'm saying? Half the inventions in America came from who? All the slaves, did they not? And then the patents, and then they came with the patents and said, yeah, them is ours now. Yeah. All the musical accomplishments in the earth. Didn't have to work. That's what they exactly. have to work. We did the work. We did everything. We made it easier for ourselves. Well, we made it hard on ourselves when we rejected God. Yeah. All right. But let's be brief. Come on. Oh, people saved by the Lord. So this is the people that will be saved by the Lord. These people right here, the so-called African Americans, the so-called West Indians, the Jamaicans, the so-called Haitians. You see these people here, Puerto Ricans, Cubans? Those are the people that will be saved by the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Come on. The shield of thy help, uh -huh. and who is the sword of thy excellency? Go ahead. And thy enemies shall be found liars. So now, I got a question for you, Z. What's your name? Timothy. What's it? Tim Tim Timothy. Timothy. Tim. Okay, can I call you Tim? Can I call you Tim? Yeah. Okay, Tim and Z. So now, God said our enemies will be found liars. So let me ask you a question. Where did this image come from? This one right here. Where we get this from? White people. White. You agree, Tim? The pale faces. The pale faces? What, what you think, Tim? Where did this come from? You think this is Jesus? Is this Jesus, Tim? Yeah. That's him? Right here? This guy right here? Uh, That's Jesus? See, you hear that? Oh. Uh, you hear that, see? Wait, this one right here. Wait, wait, we can do it again. Is it this one? Yeah. That's Jesus? That's a picture. That's Jesus. That Jesus. You believe that Jesus, Tim? You believe that white man Jesus? You do? you do? Okay, all right. Read that again. It said, read that last part again. Happy or thou, thou enemy shall be what? Thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee. So now, Timothy, me and Z gonna help you because Z already, he already heard. Adam was made from the dust of the ground, all right? That's dirt. So if God made Adam from dirt, what was his color? He was black, you see what I'm saying? So now, why is it that in art they portray these things? It's because those people that set this image up are our enemies. They don't want to, us to know who we are. They don't want us to know how great we are as a people. Now go to Revelation 1.14. Read the beginning of your Bible and say it right there. Yeah. Skin of bronze. Oh, Adam no, 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 that's Revelation. That's in the back. We got you. You, you on point. You on point. Genesis. This is, no, this Genesis. is Revelation. Yeah, skin of brass. Right, that's in Revelation. I got you. Bronze, Let's go. Exactly. Definitely. So now we're going to get what he's talking about and show you that, that this, this Timothy is a lie. Okay? Hey, Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now, we got to do a little process of elimination here, Tim. Okay? It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. So now, woolly textured hair. What kind of hair is that? What kind of hair do you think that is? That's, that's what, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's your hair. So now, that hair is normally associated with what kind of people? Black people. Colored people, as they say, Negroes. That's who they say, right? So now, what we're doing now is describing Jesus Christ. John the Revelator looked at Christ and he said, His head and his hairs was white like wool. Come on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So now, he said, His eyes were as a flame of fire. You see his whites of his eyes? Are they are they red at all? Mm. No, they pure white, ain't it? Yeah. They don't look, they don't look like nothing at all. But if you look over here, you see hair that looks something like yours, right? Yeah, you see I'm eyes red. as red, you know what I'm saying, as what's said in the Bible. So and wait a minute. Oh, we ain't got that yet, but come on. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. 
his feet was like fine brass. So brass, what color is brass, Timothy? Brown. You agree? You agree with he? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You like the gun. Like the yeah, like a penny. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. So now, if you take a penny and you burn that color in a furnace, it's going to be black. See, right on yeah. So that's why we don't have to be polytheistic. We don't have to believe in lies no more. It's because, again, this man has been proven to be a liar. You see what I'm saying? Oh, but just those scriptures alone. So now, let me show you, alone, sorry. But now, let me show you who God's people are and what they went through in today. That's become black history, all right? Deuteronomy 28. Because we got to ask the question of, who can deny this? Who can deny the things that happen to us as a people? We just went through uh, Black February, so-called Black History Month. So now, come on over, because I need some participation, all right? How did blacks get to this side of the world? See, you on. Boats. Huh? Boats. Boats. Say it like Boats. Hold on. Boats. What you think, Tim? Well, half of us already here, because, see, when I did some research on some stuff, they call indigenous people. Blacks, they were already here before slavery. Okay, what you think? How did black people get here? White people. By white people. They was driving something, right? So let's show you that God has that recorded in the Bible. Moses said that that would happen to God's people, and it actually took place, and it's now black history. All right, let's read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So now, it said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, okay? So, I'm sorry, what was your name? I didn't get your name. P. What's it? P. P. All right. P, Tim, and Z. All right. Now, what was going on in Egypt with Moses? Why did he have to go to Pharaoh? What did he say to Pharaoh? Let my people go. He said, let my people go. You see what I'm saying? So now, whenever the Israelites heard Egypt, they automatically thought about captivity or slavery or bondage. You see what I'm saying? So now, when Moses said, uh, what did he say? Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, or slavery again. How? With ships. So now, I'm going to bring God's people will go into slavery on ships. Did this not happen? Yeah. Pete, what you think, Pete? Did this take place? These boats? This right here? Uh, uh, a notice they put out in the paper to be sold a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes? Did that not take place then? Yeah. That happened, right? Yeah. So now we read the Bible and we see that what happened to us is actually in here. This shows that who we are as a people. We not the people that got off the boat, what here they call Negroes, who they call African American, who they what? call black, who they call Haitians, what? Jamaicans, all these different things. Those are lies. We were originally the people of God. What? That's who we are. But why don't they teach us that today? It's because they like to see you like this. They like to see you on the bottom of society. They like to see you as walking around, not taking care of your family, not living with morals, not living with any kind of civil, uh, uh, any kind of civil um, meaning about yourselves. You see what I'm saying? That's why they allow this thing to take place and they hide this from us. So they don't know. You see what I'm saying? Let's read this again. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So now God said, my people will go into slavery on ships. Facts. Facts. This happened to us. Nobody else. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. So now, Tim. No, no, no. Pete. What is our homeland? Africa. Africa. You said Africa. What you think, see? What? What's our, what's our homeland? Where are we from? Where y'all think we from? If we God's people, where were God's people dwelling? Everywhere, but for real, for real. They were scattered everywhere, true. Everywhere. Let's get Galatians 4 and 26. Let's show them. Let me show you where our homeland is, where it is that we should be, our rightful inheritance. All right, let me show you this. Come on. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, uh -huh. which is the mother of us all. Tim. It said, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. The blacks, the Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? That is our homeland. That is where we're from, see? You see what I'm saying? It's not Africa. It is a place in Africa, but specifically Jerusalem or Israel. That's where we're from. That is the place that our, that's our homeland. You see what I'm saying? Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why did y'all end up in Africa? How did you get to Africa? What was that about? Let's show them what happened. Everything oh, hold on, hold on. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. I'm going to finish this verse, 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 
28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee in, into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So now Tim, it said there you would be sold to your enemies. Remember this sign? Remember this sign right here? On the bottom, it says to be sold oh. a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes. That's what it says. Now the Bible just said, read that again. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. It said we will be sold to our enemies. So we got to start thinking now. This Bible is a, is a lot more real than we thought. This is reality for us. This is a lot of things that we don't, we, we think, we think didn't take place, actually happened. Come on. For bond men and bond women. When it says bond men and bond women, that means slaves. Bonds meaning you're in bonds. That's why Paul, when he was in the court, he said, I wish you were like me too, except these bonds. Because he had shackles on him. He was being imprisoned. That's what happened to us. We walked around shackled in prison, just like this, to the auction block. Black, you know, Wall Street in New York, the first thing that was sold on Wall Street was black people. That's the first item that was sold. See what I'm saying? This is the things that they don't teach us. They don't show us these things because they want us to be in lies. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.